Good evening. Welcome to tonight's video. It has been quite a while. For those of you who know, thank you. For those of you who know from a different perspective, hmm, I won't get into too personal, but. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes, you royal snake. Tonight is part four of I Work for an Interdimensional Organization, written by Nassar the Dancer, or other known as Pimp Demon. As always, please enjoy. Zeus versus the Knight. This ought to be a good fight. Kyle said as we watched the two most powerful beings here go at each other. Zeus was the first one to make a move. He raised his right hand into the air. As he did, a massive storm cloud formed above us. It must have covered the entire forest. A bolt of lightning hit Zeus and a blue glowing spear formed in his hand. The Knight let out an excited clicking sound as it pulled out its ever-changing weapon. Only, it wasn't ever changing. It stayed as a greatsword. A hulking greatsword. Could the file have been wrong? Maybe it was only this creature's armor that changed. Or perhaps it took longer for the weapon to change? Only time would tell. Both of them moved towards each other at the same time, with incredible speed. I could barely see them at all. But if I had to guess, it went something like this. Zeus thrusted his spear towards the knight, leaving a small crack in its armor. The knight swung its greatsword towards Zeus several times, most of them being dodged. Yes! This is what I was looking for! A strong opponent! The knight said, its incessant clicking growing ever louder. Zeus fell back before firing what I think was an actual bolt of lightning at the knight. A moment before the bolt hit the knight, its greatsword changed into a shield the size of the knight's body, blocking the bolt of lightning. It then turned into a spear, the knight throwing it towards Zeus. Zeus tried to move out of the way, but he wasn't fast enough. I watched as the spear hit Zeus right through his left abdomen, taking a good chunk out of it. The spear destroyed everything in his path as it traveled deeper into the forest. <laughs> Man, I have like never seen Zeus been like that hurt before. Even when he fought the Archangel Michael. But don't worry, Zeus still, like, has one ace up his sleeve. Kyle said as we watched Zeus aim his spear towards his own chest. Wait, is he doing what I think he's doing? I asked. Taking away, like, his restraints and, like, all that stuff. Yes, he, like, is. Kyle responded as Zeus stabbed his spear into his heart and absorbed it into himself. The moment he did so, his wound completely healed. He then raised his hand towards the knight and fired a blast so powerful it must have completely destroyed a fifth of the forest. The knight just stood there, completely still. At first I thought Zeus had done it, that he had beaten the knight. But when I looked closer at the knight, I noticed that more and more Fleshy strings, like the ones that were connected to the knight's antlers, were coming out of its neck, creating what I could only assume to be a head. It opened its mouth, nothing but a white void meeting my gaze. Thank you for making me whole. The thing's voice was deeper than before. Explain to me how in the old chain it survived that, and what did it mean by we made it whole? I asked as both the knight and Zeus started to fight again, only this time they were moving so fast the only thing I could see was the mass of craters being created by their weapons clashing together. If this kept up they would destroy the entire forest, or perhaps even the country. Well, to like answer your first question, I would like to assume it survived because like it's stronger than Zeus. As for the second question, I have like no idea at all why it like said that. Maybe it's because we helped it grow like a head, Kyle said. If it's stronger than Zeus, 
then how are we supposed to win? I asked. Oh, like, pretty easy, actually. We're gonna, like, ask you to join us, Kyle said as he smiled down at me. Oh, well, I sense that would make- Wait, what? Hmm. The battle only intensifies between the night and Zeus. Part four. We were promised a battle, and here it is, but I feel there's more to come. Thank you for being here to listen, and thank you, Pimp Demon, for allowing me to continue to read your story. And I do apologize for how long it has taken. I would like to thank Lycan Trucker, or also known as Breaker Breaker 119. And Pimp Demon for being my patrons on Patreon. I will leave the link in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. And do have a fantastic rest of your day. Night. Evening. Afternoon. Whatever day or time of day it may be for you. And do remember... There's so much to understand in this world.